Well, great day, everyone. As you can see, I am in the Prius. So uh, let me show you what's out the back here. We're out by the lake. And this is kind of the other area you can see. So this is my trial run. As you can see, I put a window covering here because that sun is beating down and it can get really hot on your back. So this is double sided. So I put it in there and then the front, of course the front uh, window, I have the, um, I have the covering up in the windshield because that will always heat up your car. Now it's running, I have climate control on, it's 77 degrees in here, quite comfortable. It uses very little gas. I, I know my blower's gonna be good because I just had, it was 400 and something dollars, my blower went out for my AC. So that got changed yesterday. So I know the blower is good, the fan is good, it's not going to go out again, so we can relax on that. Um, I am changing things up a bit in here. Now at first I took out, you know my, the way I have it set up in here, I have a platform and then I have drawers that pull out. So the drawers on this side have summer clothes in them and the drawer on the other side that pulls out. At first, I was gonna put all these ostomy supplies in there, but, uh, you know, I don't need like a year of ostomy supplies with me. So I decided I'm taking them out for the most part. I'll probably keep a couple extra boxes in there um, because what I've decided I'm doing is I'm using the one the uh, clothes bags uh, that that get thrown away. That's much easier to deal with the ostomy in the car uh, because even though I have a toilet in here to empty the bag in there is really not feasible. I've looked at it every aspect in this stuff. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. So I have the uh, the flex ostomy. Uh, coloplast set on and they have the flange the outside of it is like a plastic and you just peel off the adhesive and stick it on there and you're done so pretty easy you take it off and you got to clean the stoma area um, and then just stick a new bag on take the old bag and and I have a puppy um, puppy uh, bags, feces bags, that I just put, double bag it, put them in there and tie it up and stick it in my garbage. And you don't, there's no scent. Most everything is in the bag. Okay, so you just take the bag off, you put it together this way, and then the only thing that's there is cleaning the uh, ostomy, the stoma area, okay. So that's all double bagged. Again, there's no scent with that and throw it away. So that seems that that's going to work. Except for when I took the bag out, I laid it down on the thing. Miss Lily got a hold of it. And uh, so puppy teeth in the bag is not going to work unless you want to have a fountain <laughs> of output coming out of the bag. I don't want that. <laughs> so. I put that bag away and I'm gonna have to repair that bag before it can be used so I got another one but all good so I decided what I'm gonna do with the other drawer it's going to I think I'll carry maybe enough uh, a two months supply of bags just to make sure um, and uh, then the rest of the room in there is going to be for dry goods canned goods things like that. Um, so I think that'll work out really well. So I'll have a place for canned goods, dry goods, uh, 
different things. I have a couple milk bottles in there that are you don't need to refrigerate it at first, so I have extra milk in there at the moment and some ramen and some, um, what is it, canned ravioli hash, some corned beef hash, and uh, I have a number of things in there already. So that, I think, is what I'm going to do with that. It's going to be a combination, a few of ostomy supplies, a few flanges and extra, extra bags, and then the rest of it will be all dry goods. So that will make it easier as well. So at the moment, you know, again, I have the AC going 77 degrees in here, quite comfortable. The puppies are already napping. I'm going to take a nap here in just a few minutes and then look and see what there is to maybe read on. Maybe I'll do a reading a little later. And uh, well, we'll see, we'll see. So that's what's going on today. It's a trial run. I got up this morning, uh, changed your bag, and Stuart DeStoma was really active this morning. So, um, by the time I got to out here where we're at, I was going to change the bag. So first bag change in the car and it went well. So I think that I made the right choice to do the single use bags that, that I can just take off, just clean the stoma area and shove on another bag and I'm ready to go. So I think that that is going to be a good option for being in the car life, and that's going to work, okay? So I was a bit uh, worried about it because I've looked and looked and looked and have not seen anybody that's doing the, uh, really, the car life at all with an ostomy. I saw on the ostomy uh, site, I saw one guy that's in van, you know, class B, that's got an ostomy, but I haven't seen anybody doing the car life with it, you know. So um, going in, I was a bit, uh, well, I know there's got to be a way to make it work, but how to do it, but I think I figured it out. So we are in the trial run of it today. Uh, puppies are on alert here. Miss, Miss Lily's looking over at somebody's park the other side of the lake. So we got uh, Mr. Mickey's over here. Yeah. Bark and wine security. <laughs> She's over there looking out. They do love to come out. First thing when I get in a place and I stop, they get to go out and have their smell-o-vision time, which they really love. Then we come in, I get a little bit settled. You know, I change the bag, see, saw how that would work, and that seems to be okay. And um, so then next, I'm just going to uh, take a bit of a nap, see how that works. And uh, like I said, this is our first outing. This is our trial run to see how it's going to, to go. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to hit the road soon. So looking forward to that. So anyway, on that note, I'll leave that here and we'll see you online.